it's super com uh, it's more complicated than uh, what people uh, normally think uh, it is about but that's what the government is doing in terms of playing the identity politics <laughs> first question to you is that uh, you know this dehumanization of cookies that is happening and it is happening for the last uh, 45 days or so and uh, we don't see mainstream media you know really report it uh, at the same time the whatever reporting is happening even for manipur it is dominated by uh, manipuri uh, understanding of the issue by the meta understanding of the issue how as a you know trained sociologist to see this as from a neutral perspective yeah so uh, i think uh, uh first we have to see the underlying nature in which uh, society have been uh, you know um let's say uh, demarcated like in different ways and here what you see in the context of manipur is a very sharp demarcation between um you know communities who have access to let's say advanced infrastructures and who doesn't have that so um uh, right now what you're seeing but at least at this point of time it's improving at least for the minorities like us uh that people are starting to know uh, what is happening really happening because uh, reporters are like uh, they want to go there and you know know what is happening so but at at the initial stage of the a uh, violence <laughs> uh since the state control the media they have more uh, in, uh, forget about the state the people out there they, they are more advanced than the minority groups like us so they control social media and they have influences they have connections we you know there there there's a lot of networks uh, that that plays role in these uh, conflicts so it's a uh, yeah, it's a very complicated issue at hand and especially in these times of uh, like social media and digital uh you know um digital age and uh before going further like i would like to uh, clarify on um i just stop me if i'm not answering your question or drifting away uh one thing that the people should know about the the manipur con- uh, context is it's super com- uh, it's more complicated than uh what people uh, normally think uh, it is about because for instance uh, your one of your first uh, um comments uh was uh, on the you know the experiences of a cookie right so uh basically the that's what the government is doing in terms of playing the identity politics so not all the non naga tribes in 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 manipur consider themselves as cookie for instance i i will i am an example of uh, somebody like uh, the tribes who would not consider myself as a cookie so he, um and uh, i have also been like following the narrative of the, the chief minister um, at least in, uh, on uh, facebook since the past uh, since 2015 at least uh, when he uh, began to you know uh, gain significant ground in politics and then he comes to power so he have been very carefully using the word indigenous people like uh, so whenever he mentioned nagas and metis he have been you know constructing this narrative around these people are uh, both the metis and the nagas are um, indigenous so he would carefully and deliberately use indigenous whenever he speaks of the nagas and cookies since back in 2015 so but whenever he talks about the uh, cookies or let's say the other tribes he would just normally say like the tribals or the tribes in manipur so there are many many like uh, nuances that we have to consider when we are actually looking at this conflict Yeah.